Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hambridge Mandarin. 大家好，欢迎来到汉桥中文。We've got so many requests recently about recommendations for the best Chinese TV shows to learn Chinese. Today, in this video, I'm going to introduce the Chinese TV shows to learn Chinese from beginner to advanced level, and the different genres, including animation, sitcom, drama. Documentary and talk show, and I will also show you where to watch them and how to use them to learn Chinese. Let's start with the beginners. If you just started learning Chinese or have studied for a while but struggling with listening, I would recommend you start with children's animations. Even though they are shows for children, I pick it up too with simple language and interesting plots without babyish talk. The first one is. 大头儿子，小头爸爸 ，big-headed kid and small-headed father. I know, funny name. It is starring a family of three in Shanghai. I would say it's a little bit like a Chinese version of Peppa Pig. The show has been on since 1995, and there are literally hundreds of them. I would recommend you watch the use simple sentences and basic vocabulary. The next one is 中国唱诗班 Choir of Chinese poems. They are stories based on historical Chinese poems. The speech is in very standard Mandarin and very clear. The production team has conducted serious research and verification to restore the historical context. The scenes and characters are absolutely beautiful. I've been watching them over and over. All of them have Chinese subtitles. The recent episodes have got English subtitles as well. If you are interested in Chinese culture, this would be great to watch. For intermediate level, I would like to recommend a sitcom and a documentary. 家有儿女 Home with the Kids is a hilarious sitcom of a married family with three kids in Beijing. They speak in Beijing accent, which is almost the same with standard Mandarin Chinese. The speech is very natural, which is the same with how normal Chinese people would sound. It is a good source to learn and practice listening in daily language expressions with some slang. The documentary I would like to recommend is Shere Jian Shang 的中国 A Bite of China. This is a documentary on the history of food, eating, and cooking in China. As you know, eating is one of the key parts of Chinese culture. The narrator speaks slowly and uses a variety of adjectives. It's a good show for you to expand your vocabulary and learn Chinese in a more formal context. But there are also some interviews of local Chinese people in different accents or dialects. Don't worry if you can't understand them. A lot of Chinese people don't know different dialects either. For advanced level, I would like to recommend a drama and two talk shows. 白夜追凶 Day and Night is a fascinating crime drama. It's also available on Netflix. It's the kind of the show that you want to keep watching and watching. It's about a former police captain suffering from nyctophobia, who returns to solving mysteries. While he's investigating in the daytime, his twin brother, pretending to be him, secretly investigates at night to clear his name of an alleged murder. There are a lot of different characters with different backgrounds. You can practice listening and learn about different types of speech in different contexts. Jin Xing Xiu, the Jin Xing Show is a really funny talk show. She talks about social trends and current affairs. She can be very funny and critical. It's a really good source, especially if you are working with Chinese people. You are able to relate to yourself to them and talk about things happening in China. 非正式会谈 informal talks is about culture. There's one topic in each episode, and the representatives can share their opinions in various topics and issues in Mandarin. It sounds serious, but it's actually quite hilarious. Another interesting thing is that the representatives are actually from different countries, but all speak very fluent Chinese. Language is not just language. There's a lot about the culture. As an advanced language learner, you would want to have the culture awareness and build ideas. This show is quite thought provoking. Okay, that's today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. 
I will leave the details and where to watch them in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more Chinese learning content. And check out Hambridge Mandarin for more fun Chinese lessons. See you next time! Thank you.